Hey everyone, this is Bremster and this is number 93 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a skyscraper sandwich problem by Florian Wortman and the goal on this one is to fully resolve row 5. So um, the way this one works is the clue outside the grid, are both, and there's one of them, is both a skyscraper and a sandwich clue. So the way skyscraper works is the um, each digit in that is placed in a row or a column is considered to be like a building of that height. And you must be able to see a number of buildings in that row or column equal to the, um, the number that is outside the grid. But you cannot see a smaller building behind a taller one. So um, it can be a little bit tricky to wrap your head around, but hopefully this one will help you figure this one out. Sandwich clues are fairly standard. Um, we've covered a few of these. And what that means is the number outside the grid is the sum of the digits between 1 and 9 in that row or column. So um, there's a link below to where you can try and figure this one out. Uh, this has been rated actually between medium and, oh, sorry, yeah, between medium and hard by testers. So um, we'll see how this one gets rated. But uh, yeah, uh, give this one a try. I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video to give it a shot. And then I'll be back to explain how I solved this one. Okay, so I came at this in a way, I don't know if this is the only way to do it, um, but this is the way I found it. So um, I first looked at this as a skyscraper um, clue because we need to see eight buildings and that means that nine is very restricted in this row because um, wherever you put nine, you'll never see anything behind it because nine story building any building from story one to eight story building will not be seen behind it, but we need to see eight buildings. So if we were to put a nine even here, we would see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buildings, and that's not enough. So the nine can only go in one of those two. Now you would think, well, that means the nine has to go here, but you can hide a lower building behind a taller building somewhere in um, somewhere else and still have the nine at the end. But the nine, if it goes any earlier than this, you will not see eight buildings. So the nine has to be here. Now we have to switch to thinking about sandwich. Well, in sandwich clues, because of the fact that you can never use one in a sandwich clue because one and nine are the crusts, the only ways to make up eight require, uh, you can use an eight on its own, you can use, uh, you can't use seven one, you can use six two, you can use five three, and that's it. So they're the only ways of making it up. So it has to be a one or a two cell clue. So that would mean if the nine is in one of these two, if it's a one cell clue, then you could go put the one in one of these two. Um, and if it's a two cell clue, you could put effectively nine and you could put a two cell clue and you can put the one if, basically anywhere up to here based on how that goes. But that means that the one has to be hidden down here. And now we have to think about skyscraper again. We have to see eight different buildings but we'll never see the one because we can never put a one here. So what we know now is the one is the building we will not see, and we have to see eight of the nine buildings. So we cannot hide any other buildings. So all of the buildings now must be in increasing order with the one not being seen, which means that the rest of these basically becomes a thermo with the one not included. So this has to be a two, has to be a three, has to be a four, has to be a five. Now, if we think about the ways of making up eight, there's only one way to do that because we can't do um, two, six, and we can't do three, five because the two and the three aren't available. So we have to use one, eight, nine. Now, because these have to be an increasing run of digits, the only place we can put that is... Um, and the one is not going to be seen, the nine has to be at the end. Because if we don't put the nine at the end, um, then this will not be seen and the one will not be seen and this wouldn't be able to get to eight. So the nine has to be at the end. We cannot make eight any other way other than eight and one. And then these need to be increasing because the one isn't seen. So this becomes the six and this becomes the seven. And that's the solution to the problem. 
Other people will probably see this in a much faster way, um, but I wanted to go through every single logical step. That's what I try and do with these problems required to sort of pull the meat out of all of the logic. I don't want to just turn around and say, well, it's obvious that this and move on. Um, often when solving a puzzle, you do that because you don't, if I go into this level of depth with everything, then the puzzles would take forever. But um, in the with the problems, I think the whole point is to sort of go through all of the details detail and uh, hopefully that now makes sense. So this is a really nice little problem. Um, as I said, testing was a little bit divided as to whether this is a medium or a hard. Um, yeah, we'll see what I end up with. I think it's a medium, but uh, yeah, we will see. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.